Hi there, we have created this new series of videos in which we will be showing you the basic functionality of the data protection product from Dell EMC called Networker. In this series, we will be looking at the basic operations, the different resources that are available in Networker, and how to carry out these basic functions as a part of daily operations. Uh, in this part, in this particular video, we will be introducing you to the product itself. If in case you're already familiar with Networker, you can go ahead and skip to the next video. So Networker, as I said, is an enterprise data protection product from Dell EMC and is used by many of the enterprises around the world to protect their file systems as well as applications. The different operating systems that are supported by Networker for protection are Windows, Linux, the different flavors of Unix, NDMP, and so on. The application list, however, is pretty long. The main databases that we uh, that this particular application protects are Microsoft SQL, Oracle, and many, many more. It also supports applications like Exchange, Domino, SAP, and so on. So let's see what are the basic functions of this application. So the basic functions of this applications are backup, recovery, tracking and reporting, aging, cloning, and staging. Backup is nothing but making a copy of computer data and storing it elsewhere so that it is available for restoration in case of any data loss event. Recovery is the process of restoring the data that was earlier backed up to a particular point in time in case of any requirement. Tracking and reporting is the process of storing and accessing backup metadata. Backup metadata can be anything from what type of data is being backed up, when it was backed up, how much data was backed up, what is the current state of the backup, if the backup is, is available or not, and where that particular backup is stored on, and so on. Aging determines the duration for which the data is available for recovery. This term is also referred to as retention. As you would see in the rest of this series, uh, the aging would be generally referred to as retention. Retention, again, is nothing but how long we would like to make keep the backup uh, stored in our backup, uh, backend devices in another location or multiple locations. Cloning, the function cloning is nothing but taking making a copy of the backup that was done and storing it in another volume or location since a backup is already a copy of the production data that is the primary copy and when you do a clone of the backup you would end up having two copies of the production data this is generally done uh, for disaster restore if in case you want to store the primary backup backup data in one location and the secondary data uh, backup data in a disaster recovery location staging is very similar to how cloning works the major difference between cloning and staging is that when you do a cloning a copy of data a backup data is done and stored in another location Whereas in staging, the same process is done wherein the copy of the original data is done and stored in another volume and or location. But with, when this particular copy completes, the original data is deleted. So if you could compare uh, cloning and staging with an analogy, it would be similar to how copy paste and cut paste works, where cloning is nothing but you copy and paste and you have two copies of the same data but when you do a cut paste you are moving the data from one location to another so these are the basic functions of networker and uh, we will be looking at how to configure and how they work in the later series next we look at the basic roles so there are more than one um, role that networker 
place within its architecture so we will be looking at the architecture in the next slide but this being being the basic roles that you will find in networker which is the client which is the basic building block or the basic role and then there is the storage node which is also the media server or the media management layer and then you have the master server which is the uh, role which controls all the functions and all the operations in a networker server so if you have a master server then it is assumed or it is mandatory to have storage node as well as client binaries installed on that machine if you're talking about having a media server or a storage node then that would mean that you need to have the storage node role as well as the client role installed on it and uh, the client itself is the most basic role in the data, uh, data zone so what is the data zone again we'll, we'll look at it later and uh, so client is essentially the role of all the systems wherein the data needs to be protected let's get on to the next slide and look at the basic architecture of uh, networker <coughs> so as we already saw the three basic roles in the architecture are networker server storage node and networker client other than these roles we do have three other roles which are the management console server so the management console server is uh, a centralized server which is used to download a, a management applet onto your management console client which is this particular role here and this machine is used to download the applet, applet from the management console server and use that applet to manage the entire operations of the networker server itself so whatever interaction that you are doing with the applet is being in the back end being uh, co uh, communicated with the management console server which in turn is communicating with the networker server to carry out the selected operations uh, the backup storage device is nothing but the target device or the location or uh, the system wherein the backup data is actually stored so the backup storage can be anything from a file system device a data domain, an, um, a, a tape uh, system, a tape library system. Uh, depending on your requirement, you can configure your backup device as any on any one of these uh, uh, systems. The client again is nothing but the system which generates the data that has to be backed up. The storage node is used to manage the backup uh, devices or the backup storage devices and again the network server is the ma master uh, server which controls all the operations and functionalities of the network server so we will be uh, hearing this particular phrase very often during this series which is a data zone so what exactly is a data zone a data zone is a group of clients storage devices and a storage node that are administered by a networker server so one data zone comprises of one networker server it can have multiple storage nodes it can have multiple devices it can have multiple clients so a data zone is a group of clients storage devices and storage nodes that are, that are administered by a networker server so this is, was a basic introduction of uh, the Dell EMC Networker Data Protection product. Next, we will be uh, be having uh, the other uh, set of videos, which will introduce you to the different uh, services that are present in Networker. What each and every service does. We will be looking at different configurable resources that are available how to configure this, those resources and then we will be also looking at how the how the functions that we looked at uh, looked at earlier in this video work and are configured and so on so thank you for thank you for staying here till the end we will look forward to meet you at the rest of the videos in this series